Hi Audacious Church and welcome to today's devotion. Wherever this finds you in the world and wherever time it is, I hope it finds you well and living in life in all its fullness. My name is John Shelton, I'm one of the area pastors here at church and it's my honour today to share with you my favourite Bible character and it's my namesake, John John the Baptist to be precise and when I became a Christian at 18 um, John the Baptist was used as a term of abuse for me but he is my favourite Bible character because he was so passionate he never gave up and he blazed a trail for the Lord and my prayer is that me and you today will blaze a trail, make a way for the Lord in 2024. In John 3 verse 30, he says these great words, which I live, try to live by every day. And he says this, he, me and the Lord, must increase and I must decrease. He was such a humble man, such a key figure, but he knew that the key to his greatness was the fact that he let God have more of him than he had of himself. I think the amazing thing about our all-knowing, all-powerful God who could just barge his way into our lives, he waits for us to give him the room for him to increase in our lives. And if we are struggling in our lives, it's often because we are increasing and he is decreasing. But the key to success is for him to increase and for me to decrease. What I want to be second and what he wants to be first. And the amazing thing about it is the fact that the it's only my experience of God is limited by how much I allow him to increase. So if we are struggling today, let me encourage you to be a decreaser. Decrease what you want to do. Put yourself in the back seat and put God in the front seat. And then as he increases and what I want decreases, we will live in life in all its fullness, as it says in John 10.10. 10. So be a decreaser today. Join me as I try to decrease my own agenda and give God the room and the space to increase so that I might enjoy everything he has planned for me. Let me pray for you before we go. Dear God, we thank you that you are ready and waiting to give us everything we need for life and godliness. Help us all to decrease. Help us to put our pride and our own agenda second and put you first and help us all to flourish in this great salvation. Amen. Have a great day, church, wherever you are. God bless you and I'll see you very soon.